Hi guys, it's Amy and you have found Amy Loves Crochet. Thank you so much for clicking on any of my videos. I do sincerely appreciate your time. I've got a super fun video for you today, at least I hope so. I've got three uh, Square Squad senders <laughs> that sent me a package of squares, so I've got those three to open with you. And then I also have a purchase that I made on Etsy and one that I made on eBay and they both have come in. So I was really excited to share these with you as well. Now I do want to start off with one little piece of information that I am over the moon excited about. So um, our basement is finished and that's where we have like our little office area where we, you know, sit on our computers where I do all my editing and my uploading and stuff. And we had to finish the flooring in there. My husband and I ripped up the linoleum that came with the room when we had it built 20 years ago or whatever. And so now we've got um, we had that pulled up and we laid down tongue and groove flooring. So it was a DIY that took a very long time. We let it sit undone for too, too long and it drove us insane. So <laughs> to have it finished now is very exciting. The whole reason that I'm sharing that with you is because it opens up a dedicated space for me to do tutorials. I cannot explain in words how excited I am to have this space and be able to share things with you that you've asked me for, things that I wanted to share with you. So I'm asking you guys now, if you've ever asked me to do a tutorial or if you've ever wanted to see how some stitch was done, um, you know, I do have some tutorials on my channel already, but this is the opportunity to remind me of one that you maybe asked for or give me some good suggestions on what you'd like to see. And, um, I don't want to call it a sign-up sheet, but let me know if there's a tutorial that you've been looking for or something that I mentioned and you want to see a little bit more about, like the handles on the basket that I did the other day. Um, yeah, I'm super, super, super beyond words excited that I've got my little dedicated space down there now. So it's a pretty good opportunity for me to um, have another photo space. If this isn't working out for whatever reason, you know, my lighting is what it is. Um, Everything about this space in the basement is going to work out for me as far as space, light, noise, time of day, all of that good stuff. So super, super excited about that. Um, so in that same idea, um, I have filmed, I'm on vacation from work this week. So I really had all these plans to do all this filming of tutorials and extra videos for, you know, having a buffer for my timeline and things like that. None of that worked out. Today is Thursday morning. I've got a haircut coming up in a couple hours. And so I'm just going to jump in here and film my unboxing real quick. But um, I, like I started to say, and it interrupted myself, I um, filmed two tutorials uh, yesterday morning and I was so excited. Wait, two days ago. Anyway, and I was so excited to have them done in, in editing. Um, one of them, I'm waiting for my finished project uh, to be finished so that I can put that video together. But the other tutorial, I missed a stitch. And, you know, to see my frustration when I'm back in editing and I just continued on, I didn't recognize that I had skipped the stitch while I was doing the work. So I just keep talking to you and showing you the project, blah, 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 blah. And there's a giant gaping hole right here that I, my eyes cannot unsee. So I'm going to have to redo that one. But it's not a problem anymore because I've got my dedicated space. I cannot say how excited. Um, and now this was exciting to me because I shared with you already. I was searching for um, another G hook. I leave my hooks with my work when I try not to let the box fall off my seat. <laughs> um, I leave my hooks with the work that I'm going to share with you in some cases or in, in whip bags or whatever. And then I need another hook of that size and I don't find it. So um, I went out to uh, eBay and looked for some inexpensive hooks, you know, um, maybe I just went out to Google and it gave me, cause this wasn't at eBay, this was at Etsy. So I found some G hooks that were relatively inexpensive. And um, so I looked to see what else she had as well because the hook was 25% off. So if that's 25% off, maybe she's got a sale on her other stuff. So this company again is called South Pass Beads. I'll link it in the description in case you want to check her out. Um, I read up that she's doing away with the yarn in her inventory and going to stick mainly with the beads and stuff. So, you know, maybe keep an eye out that she's discontinuing, you know, she's going to continue the, the sale of the 40% off on the yarn. I don't know. So 
let's reach in here and I kind of always want to <laughs> now there were two colors that I could not decide between um, and she did email me a 15% off coupon after that so that was pretty good and it just came from um, Illinois so it was a real short trip for me to receive so let me open I could not decide between these two yarns and I kept I kept not being um, what am I trying to say? I kept putting it, no, I'll remove that one, add that one back. No, remove that one, add that one back. And so I'm really excited. I just bought them both. <laughs> At 40% off, you can't go wrong. This is a yarn that I don't have already. I've never had this in my stash before. Um, I am not going to say the name because I'm going to totally chew, chew it up, but it's cotton. It's cotton yarn. So whoops, here is the name of the yarn. And it is, I'll show you that as well, because that's tiny. I can't read that. If you want to read that, you can screenshot it. <laughs> it's a fingering weight one. It's 100% cotton, 100 grams, 481 yards. So check out this color with the purples and the greens and the orange. It was gorgeous. Could you not stand it? So I got two of those. Boop. Love, love, love that. I could not, you know. I was trying to control myself and just really couldn't. The color is 1006. I think there was a color on the order. Yeah, it doesn't say. <laughs> so uh, the second one that I decided to purchase. So these were, I think these were $17 originally and my cost was $10.20. So I couldn't pass it up. So I bought two of those and then also two of these. It's kind of a little bit more red than the orange on the other one with some blues and purples in there. See, when you hold them together, you're like, oh, which one do I want to buy? I don't know. Buy them both. <laughs> so I've got, whoops, there goes the box. So I've got two hanks of each of those. Super duper excited about that. This was so exciting. Look how pretty. I love them. Love, love, love. All right, and then my two hooks, she's got packaged up really, really good in here. Let me see if I can get that open. Nothing exciting as far as this one goes. Ta-da! I think they were, they're listed at $8.96, but whatever 25% off of that was. I think they were six something. But again, you know, I usually find these closer, whoops. To ten dollars so i just bought two everything in this package was two 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 of those two of those two of those and no additional love notes okay <laughs> so then this one um this was super exciting to me because i had been you know it's looking on ebay is one of those things that i get a i get a bee in my bonnet and i and i look 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 and then i don't look for a very long time so when you start to look again, you know, you're looking, when I'm looking for like these little treasure hunts, that's, it's kind of like that, you know, I have no idea what I'm looking for. I have no idea what's going to be out there, but something's going to be cool and something's going to be inexpensive and I'm going to get something that I've wanted for a while, you know, who knows, right? And so as you can see, I spent last night before I went to bed, I cleared out some of my cubbies to make room for my new yarn that is in this box that I cannot wait to show you. <laughs> um, and I was outside my comfort zone, even in my own space, because I was mixing, you know, my cubbies hold certain classifications or certain weight of yarn or certain brands or whatever. I, I set my cubbies up a certain way. And last night at 1030 or whatever it was when I was deciding to do this before bed, um, I just started shoving stuff together. So mixed blends are together, mixed brands are together, I don't even care, because we got big openings for this giant box. Are you guys ready for this? And so as I open it, I don't know what I want to pull out first to share with you or what order I want to talk about my story, you know. Um, so we'll just see what order uh, the box is, you know, set up in. Okay. Pull this back. Man, she taped it up pretty good. And then after, after I made the purchase, um, you know, there was so much within the picture and I really was kind of focused on one or two things. So I kind of forgot what all the rest of the stuff was 
that was in the <laughs> was in the lot. And this is something that I forgot that was in there until I was looking at it again last night. Check this out. So this is a Mary Maxim kit for this is called Fantastic Fans Throw. And so it's really pretty if you can kind of see it there. It's got like baubles throughout and then this great spacing here. Um, this is the yarn. Let me pull one out and read the label for you or show you the label. It's kind of a really pretty like orangey color. Kind of a little bit orangey red, orangey pink. Um, there is no colorway named. It is in another language. So that will be fun. Here's what that looks like. I'll go ahead and share that with you. All I know is 100% acrylic and 100 gram balls. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls of this yarn with a pattern. That's worth a few bucks right there, right? So again, I had completely forgotten that that was even in the lot. Oh my goodness. Oh, I get a note. I got a note. Look at that pretty mandala. Reminds me of Rika. Hi, Chandrika. Oh, and what did she give me? She gave me a little thimble. Okay, I gotta take this out. Check this out. Okay, let me take it out. She can't even see it through the little plastic. It says, within this yarn of toil and sin, your hair grows bald, but not your chin. <laughs> Look at this little guy on here. I don't know what that's all about. Does that say Burma Shave? That's what that is. Oh, you can't even see it. Burma Shave. And then this little guy on the back. A little thimble. How fun. How fun. <laughs> let me, let me. Okay. 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 I don't know what to do. I'm so excited, you guys. Okay. This was in there, and I can't even, like, this is a full-size Swift. Loops and threads. One of these that you hook on to the table. Amazing. I do already have a Swift, as you know, and I do have to build it every time I use it. Um, so I don't know if this is going to take the place. I'm definitely going to try it out and see how it goes. But yeah, that, I feel I feel like that was a freebie. Like I wouldn't, I would have gotten this kit. I, okay, so I did pick this up. Everything's kind of mixed around. Everything's in bags. Everything's kind of wrapped up in some zippies because the weather's just been horrible. But the whole reason that I um, zoned in on this box, on this uh, lot on eBay, is for this mandala yarn. There are four cakes of this mandala bonus yarn, bonus bundle. And each of these, it's a weight three yarn, and it's 1,181 yards in each one of these cakes. And there's four of them in here. So... I had already been looking at this. My Walmart has such a little, very tiny little amount of yarn. And they have mandala cakes, but only like the small ones. And they're like $6 or something. They never go on sale. So these I saw, mm, I want to say like $12, maybe $10 on sale online. But so even if we call these $10 a piece, there's, that's $40 of my 70 for the box. I clearly got another $30 worth of stuff out of here. So there's four of these in here somewhere. I just pulled out this first one now. The next thing that is going to blow your mind, because it's right here next on top, is this giant bag. And it feels like there's stuff inside of it. That might have been what she said. There's extra in here. But it is an absolutely gorgeous kit bag. It was shown with this door open so that you could see inside. That's where my extra mandalas are. So there's the three cakes. That's how big this is. Is it holds those, there's three cakes of this mandala bonus in here. So let me try to figure out how to open it. It's almost like a cat carrier or something. <laughs> like you're going to have a, this little window that they can see out. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. So look at this gorgeous bag. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let me open the other zipper. What am I seeing here? 
it's just kind of a flat panel. But, oh, that's what it was. I could see that this kind of opened. I was looking for that. So you've got little pockets, little, um, you can put your hooks in here, little notions down in here, and then this keeps them all safe. What a gorgeous bag. Look at that pattern. Oh, I love it. Love, 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 love. Total freebie again. Like I would never have, this was not on my reason for buying this package, <laughs> this grouping. Um, okay. I'm going to jump to this one, I guess. Whew. You know, it is a really big lot. So please be patient with me <laughs> because I can't remember how many of all. Okay. So there's three in here and I've got another three here. So there's six of these and I never got around to using this yarn. Um, I used the unforgettable and the, there were two that were very much the same unforgettable. I don't remember. Um, but this is very much like that. If you, if you know what I'm talking about, it's sort of like a roving. Um, it's a super, super, super soft. Each one of these is, 100 grams, which is 279 yards, and it's a four weight that they suggest using a six millimeter hook with. Look at this. So this is the colorway cotton candy. So I got six of these. There's those six, and then we've got, I'm not sure how many of these. So that's not the same color. Okay, hold on. Let me slow my roll. This colorway is Lollipop. Again, uh, the facets yarn by Loops and Threads. And so it's like this orangey reds and browns and kind of a purpley up in here. Gorgeous. So I've got three in my lap. Three, I've got five of those. And then this other one, I think that one I have also five. This colorway is called Flame. Gorgeous. That is very true. It's very red and yellow and orange. Very sun. Very fire. Love that. Five of those. And then, let's see. This is all miscellaneous ones. So let me see what I got here. Never bought this yarn before, so that'll be fun for me. Oops. I'm trying to... Hold it at the same time. Eco Cozy Watercolors. This is roving. It is recycled plastic, made from recycled plastic. It's a super bulky six, recommended nine millimeter hook. And this is um, 150 grams. So we'll figure out something with that. The colorway is very Amy. Um, I didn't buy this yarn for a reason while it was out at the store. Uh, but we'll see how, we'll see how it goes. Um, also in this bag is, now this is different. Um, it's a four, but man, is this skinny. Okay. So this is shawl in a ball and it's different than what I've seen. This, look at this. How is this possibly a four? This is like teeny, skinny, teeny, tiny, but it's sparkly. See how the sparkles? Ooh, pretty. And it's kind of that got that wave to it. This will be interesting. The skein here, the hank, whatever, is 61% uh, cotton, 34% acrylic, and then 5% other fiber, which is that sparkle. But you can see it's got some changing color in there. It's gorgeous. And this colorway is called Lotus Blossom. So that'll be nice. There's one of those. And then also in the shawl and a ball, same type of thing. This one's really pretty too. This one is Moonstone. It's kind of a mess, but you can see the colors that come in it. If you've seen this zigzaggy kind of yarn before, it's tiny. I don't know that it's a four, but it's really pretty. Look at the different colors in here. That'll be interesting to use. There's a lot of it, a lot of um, 481 yards. So it's quite a bit. Oh my gosh, you guys, this pile I'm developing at my feet is insane. 
um, Crafter Square Acrylic. Is this from Dollar Tree? I think this might be from Dollar Tree. So these are 132 yards. Um, a six hook is recommended. A six. I don't know what I said that. Six millimeter. <laughs> so there's two of these. Doesn't give a colorway, I think. It's kind of orange. Kind of orangey red. So there's two of those. And then this one by itself. Ooh, this one I'm excited for. Cozy Wool Moreno. And it is um, 341 yards. It suggests a G, a G four and a half millimeter hook. My G's are four millimeter, but whatever. That's one of those. Grayscale Multi is the colorway. So it's kind of a blue and a gray. And then there's like a kind of an off white. It gets to a little bit down here, but very, very nice. Yeah, so I look forward to a Moreno that's not like one of my expensive Hanks. This would have been, you know, $9.99 face value, but it cost me pennies in this box. <laughs> okay, just a little bit more. Hang on, hang on, a little bit more. We've got these. I never used these before either. This is called Natural Marl. Again, it's like a giant loops and threads basket box. I, I'm not even mad about that. This is... 69% polyester, 22% acrylic, and 9% wool. The colorway is pearl, and it's kind of, yeah, just kind of grayish, brownish, whitish. It's really not that exciting of a color, if I'm honest, but it's kind of a weird feel. Maybe that's why I didn't purchase it to begin with. But yeah, so Natural Marl is the name of this one. And there are also two in this colorway which is light pine this one's not bad and i say there's two of them so that wasn't too bad there's kind of like a graying i mean a green um uh, tone changing so that'll be nice there's two of those and then my last yarn item the last one that's yarn is a cupcake cake <laughs> the colorway here is spring break and love me some cupcake. This is a lightweight three. There's 590 yards, 100% acrylic, and they suggest um, an H five millimeter hook. So this is great. I love um, the cupcake yarn. I've used it before. I made um, Barbie doll dresses with it. So that's kind of been on my radar of maybe doing some more of those. And now I've got a fresh, fresh cake to make their dresses with. <laughs> And the last thing that is in the box to share with you is in a box <laughs> because they, uh, she needed to make sure that it would not break. Let me see, how is it opened here? Again, never had one of these before. Kind of didn't see it within this, the lot when I was first purchasing it and am beyond excited to now own one. Boop. <laughs> I do not have any one of these little cake little ball holders and it's like take what like teak like take I want to eat a salad out of this bowl <laughs> I don't know you know growing up in the I don't know what years we want to talk about the bowls but they were um, big wooden bowls like this the big salad bowls and then you had big salad tongs and it was all wood gorgeous 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 okay okay I'm rambling I have a square squad update to share with you so let me clear my space so I've got a little bit of room here, and I'll be right back. Whew. That was a workout. <laughs> so um, I do want to say, um, if it has inconvenienced you to hurry up and send me squares, and then I extended the square deadline, if that was inconvenience or if that bothers you, I'm so sorry. You know, when I set up my initial request for the squares, I didn't know how long it would take. For everybody to send stuff in and I felt like you know going too far out was kind of ridiculous and so I just went with one month and um, I got such a great response and KK thank you so much for sharing it on your channel as well so if you have sent already and you know you felt rushed to do that I apologize I sincerely do but I've got three packages to share with you today and I'm really really excited 
Um, so I'll go ahead and start with K, K and Crochet, K and K Crochet, because they probably, um, if you know K and K Crochet, they've already shown these squares on their channel. So I'll go ahead and jump right out there with that one. I want to open it. Where's my scissors? Here it is. You know, maybe I should pre-open these just a, a tad, just a smidge so that I'm not struggling with it with you on camera. Um, so, sweet little love note. Let me read that first, please. So, KK is explaining which squares are from her and which are from Kristen. Aw, she's sharing some of her buttons. I appreciate you too. Love you so much. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let me read again because I read too fast. <laughs> the ones from uh, KK are some Christmas ones. I love variegated Christmas colors. So those are fun. Uh, and the sparkle blue. And then these are from Kristen. Oh, goodness. <gasps> that one's, oh my goodness. <laughs> So we've got some awesome colors. We've got it like a brown and teal. This is beautiful. And then, I don't know, I just keep picking up different ones. A pink one. Love, love, love. Two Christmas ones are for me, the sparkle blue pink. Okay, whoops. And then a pink with some gray. I think I started to see this one at the beginning when I was watching K KK's K and K's video and I saw that she was talking about sending some squares to me so I put the you know I turned it off the video real fast so that I could be surprised when I opened them and so I still have to go back and, and watch that video but I think that was the one that I started to see and then sparkly this is um, I believe the big twist sparkle I've got some of that as well I love that one with the sparkles in there and the blue one and this one's super sweet did she say look at this one the heart one and the two oh the brown and teal and the two christmas ones are... i'm sorry kk i totally messed that up the brown and teal is kk the heart one is kk brown and teal and the two christmas ones and then the plain blue pink and gray pink and that blue sparkle okay so these ones are all kk i love this one it's very um soft i don't know what yarn that is share with us what yarn that is i'll watch your video and see if you say this is super super soft thank you guys so much i appreciate you more than you know and for you to have shared my request on your channel i just love that so much oh i got some bee stickers yay and these cute 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 and I never have but oh my goodness these are amazing I got some stitch markers in here I got little Santa little snow people I will take these out and take a picture of them all laying out so that I can speak you know zoom along here and get my other I've got two more two more to open and share squares with you so thank you k and k crochet kk and Kristen. i love you guys so much i appreciate you awesome okay keeping all of that together and then the next one here let me open this one Ta -da! oh my goodness stuff's falling out <laughs> uh, i got some little goodies Oh, lots of cute little stickers on this one. Who's this from? I didn't even get the note out yet. I love that one. Crochet all day. Let me cover herself. These are so cute. I can crochet that. <laughs> Whoops. I want all this to stay with who it's supposed to stay with. Okay, and this one is this one. Um, crochet is my therapy, for sure. Oh, 
So she's sharing that this is a great Etsy and eBay person to buy from. Oh, here's another one. I crochet so I don't unravel. And just a really cool rainbowy colored one. Aw, let me see my note. So this is Rebecca from South Mississippi. So she makes all kinds of things, but has not really felt motivated to conquer squares. And um, my request motivated her to conquer some squares. So, oh, thanks for the motivation. Oh, and she did the olive green shawl. Yay! I love Annie's design, Annie crochet design. So I love spreading that along. Wait, there's another stickers. There's more stickers. Oh, I like this one. You can see that it's crochet stitch behind the peace sign there. And this one says, hooked on crochet. Rebecca, thank you so much for all my stickers. I love that. Okay, so I just want to pull one out at a time and see it. Oh, oh my gosh. You guys are going to love this one. Boom. Wowza. Wowza, wowza. That is awesome. <laughs> I love that. Oh my goodness. The next one. Ooh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I love this. I love, love, love this. That color together. This is gorgeous. What yarn is this? This is good yarn. <laughs> Ooh. Love me some browns and orange together. These are awesome. Oh. Is this like another miter? This is like, I don't think it's mitered. It's just changing color. You can see how the purple starts here as she's going to start to come around. There you go. Awesome. Oh my goodness, you guys. That was incredible, Rebecca. Thank you so very, very much. Yay! All right, and we've got one more. Looking at my time, goodness, I did not want to make this into two videos, but it's super, super long, so we'll see what editing can do. Maybe I have to make it into two videos. I don't know. So this is from Nikki in West Virginia. West Virginia? Yeah, West Virginia. Thank you so much. Oh. She had told me that they were coming, but goodness gracious. Gorgeous mint color. Put those here. Ooh, those are bright. Those look to me, I love when I recognize the yarn. I think that this looks like, um, mm, I want to say, I don't remember the name of it, but it's this yarn. Doesn't it look like the same? It looks exactly the same. Ha ha ha. It's Fair Isle. I don't remember the name of it. It's been a while since I worked with that. Awesome. Ooh. The pretty blue and off white and brown. I love these. <gasps> yes. Yes, we're still using that same yarn. And it has that awesome, great feel. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. I like that color. You never know what color groupings you're going to get. Look, green says, I am going to be in this square. <laughs> and I love a circle inside of the square. These are awesome, Nikki. Thank you. Ooh. Good colors. Like a coral and sage and then the brown. That's pretty. Ooh, minty mint. I love that round. Pretty blue. Different color blue. A little bit different. Oh, maybe it's the same. It looks a little bit darker. <laughs> I'm going to have so many squares to work with. Another blue one. Another blue one. Another blue one. I'm gonna help do some patterns. I'm gonna throw some patterns in there. 
Nikki. <laughs> Ooh, the piece de resistance. That's pretty. I don't know if I know that pattern. Have I seen that before? So pretty. Oops, almost falling out. All right, one more blue one. You guys, thank you so, so, so very much. I this It makes me so excited to go to the post office and pick these up. I cannot even explain it. So I do appreciate you sending squares in. I know that it's not cheap. It's your time. It's your effort. And then you have to put the postage on the envelope. So I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed my square sending update, <laughs> my square squad update. Um, I will try to get one posted at least once a week um, and, you know, share with you what you guys are sending in, share with the rest of you what's being sent in so that you know kind of how my blanket size is going and um, I'm getting quite a few. So thank you so much for your time and your effort and your postage and your love. I appreciate your support more than I can say. Have a wonderfully blessed day, folks. I hope you'll come back and see me again. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.